Hello and welcome from Richco Photo. Today I'm just going to take you for a quick spin up to the top of Portsdown Hill in Portsmouth. As you can see we've had lots of flooding so this is one of the side roads that I'm just going through at the moment. And we've had quite a bad winter uh, with as much rain as we can cope with I think. This is just one of the roads out um, at the side of the road there. There's the main road going by and I'm just about to join it. It's actually getting deeper as I ride along here. Um, as you can see it's been a lot higher by the black marks on the wall to your left. Coming out of the end of it now and working up towards the main road over all the bits and branches. And joining the main road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the top of Portsdown Hills and this is one of the good viewing points here for looking over Portsmouth, Hayden Island, Port Solent, um, Gosport and in the far distance when we get up there you will see the Isle of Wight which is just off the south coast of the UK. Now the Portsdown Hill itself is like a long, walk, a long chalk hill. It sort of drops off both sides so to the left as we drive up this road you'll see there's, there's a valley down to the left and then to the right when we get up to the top of the hill here we'll drop down over Portsmouth so you have views right over um, Portsmouth itself so as you can see it's sort of half sunshine and half cloud and this is just more rain was coming in so to the left you can see it's nice and clear but to the right you can see the cloud building up. Now the interesting things, is how they do sort of some sort of Royal Navy stuff, it's all guarded and entrances and I've seen the odd soldiers walking around with guns at the top of the hill here sometimes. As you can see on the right there's some radars and some builders, almost looks like a naval ship actually, that's actually on the ground. As you can see it's well guarded with the fence and barbed wire, <laughs> so it's obviously something important. There has been times when we were kids and we used to come up here like it when I first got my car. Um, we were stopped by the police because we used to drive along here a lot and then they would check out what we were doing, where we were going, who we were. I'm not so sure if that happens these days. There's lots of security around here. And as you can see to the left there's another valley to the left there. I'm just running up towards the roundabout now. Now I'm going to turn right so you may get a glimpse out over Portsmouth. I'm just going to drive down the road a little bit more and pull into a lay by. So as we go around here, you can see, you can just about see it to the left there in the distance. So we're up. This, there's this sign flashing on and off is actually a permanently on tells you about the wind. I think it's obviously the settings on the camera that is, I think it's around 40 frames a second that's causing that to flicker. Um, so you can see some of the port there to the left and the sea. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in here quickly. And now I'm just going to pan from right to left. I'll try and point out a few things. It's quite hard to see when there's so much in the distance. Um, but as you can see, that's a Cosham in front of us. Um, and right in the far distance, that is the Isle of Wight. And we have Halen Island, the Spinnaker Tower, right in the distance. But that's looking, you know, 430 feet above sea level across. And that's Hayden Island in the far left. It's quite there's quite a few places along here where people stop in the evenings and have a look out over there. And so it's, it looks quite good with all the lights on, and it's a great place to come on November the fifth. It gets really busy up the top of here with people watching. So what I did this time with my camera, because I only have one GoPro, I need to buy myself another one. Is I'm running along the road on the other side of the, I guess it's like a radar or some sort of, they're watching us place. 
because I want you to see the side of what's going on because to the left is out over Portsmouth to the right there's a few buildings along here that I want to point out and you'll see some of that being some of the entrances there's some of the buildings and the offices to do again another radar there and some more offices don't know, I've tried the research on the internet, I can't find too much about what they actually do. Um, but some of the places have been turned into industrial state. You know, these, these forts were built um, by Royal Commission in 1859. Um, they, they decided that they would build these to protect the dockyard, which is about five miles away from here. This is one of the forts here. Um, it's got cannons and everything that they use to defend, but also because of the valley behind, they were protected from the back as well. So any invasion from either side of the buildings, because it was a good vantage point for like the enemy to come up from behind, take control, and then fire down onto Portsmouth from where they were. So this is where these bunkers go around in a complete circle, and they're firing from both sides. So what I've done now is I've turned round and I'm driving along the road trying to give you a view of the Portsmouth and what um, was out there. So looking to our left as we drive along, and that's where all the forts are. There are some small outer buildings here that to do with NHS, um, one of the buildings and some civic offices I believe. And there were some forts built as I was talking about earlier. So what I'll do is I'm going to talk about the forts in part two and leave you with some views over Portsmouth and a little bit of music just to accompany that and I'll talk about the forts in part two so thanks for watching please subscribe and give me the thumbs up if you liked it any questions just let me know